make sure we're live and we are very nice very nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today is april 8th 2020 fourth month uh second decade beginning of and we're doing a live stream a drop in math tutoring session for the 2020 school year i guess um, and this is number five that we're doing for this year it's been an interesting year there's a lot of uh, people that are on lockdown so schools have been canceled all over the place spider-man how are you doing catholic traditionalist hello hello Ichicho. good afternoon friends hope you're well good evening good good folks good evening good evening welcome welcome uh, i've been looking to this stream i'm just curious to see uh what we're gonna get i um we had a question from uh, someone olive uh she's in norway i believe she needed some help with calculus and because they're uh, nine hours ahead uh, i thought maybe i would do a little intro on calculus connor how are you doing a uh, little intro on calculus what i know x how's life uh, maybe we'll see i i looked at it for like 15 minutes <laughs> i brought out check this out i brought up my book my calculus book and it just did one problem uh so maybe if we get a chance hannah how you doing hey chicho i'm nesting in bed chilling with chicho awesome awesome Boop, doop, choo. <laughs> nice <laughs> fun fun and um I'm, i'll do my little intro the, f the focus is going in and out it's like spring summer hot right now so the the cameras sometimes it's getting cloudy and then bright and stuff like this um but as you know <laughs> fun uh technique tech nikkei how are you doing hey chicho how's quarantine treating you not bad i'm eating i added one more thing to my repertoire of uh, applesauce and uh, my coconut flour whole wheat coconut whole wheat flour uh honey chocolate chip walnut cookies and applesauce homemade applesauce i added mandarins in there so these are cookies that i made right and this is applesauce that i made and these are some mandarins right and uh the cookies are really crumbly so i've been munching away cooking and eating b des how do you how should i pronounce your name b d e s s b des yeah <laughs> no idea <laughs> good evening good evening quinn how's life hey chicho how's it going made another stream once again so excited awesome awesome and a math stream math stream math stream i'm loving the math right now um just because i'm doing uh, a fair bit of mathematics online and i'm getting really powerful students that want to learn as fast as they can so i'm going rapid mode right just feeding them as much as i can because they're not in classes right so don't they're not being dumbed down right so so when they're in classes most kids they they get dumbed down a lot right the class goes so slow they get bored out of their minds they think mathematics is boring they can't pay attention now that they're not in classes i'm teaching them directly what they need to learn and i'm going rapid right and they're just sucking it all up that's the way our education system should be but it's not so i'm really appreciating uh, this opportunity to feed as many people as possible bds like the initial bds okay bds boycott divestment sanctions i'm clearly the house uh, i'm clearing the house excited to listen to some math i'll be in and out of chat your streams make me super motivated to clean awesome spider-man <laughs> that's good 11 30 a.m for me in new zealand right on right now what time is it for you for me it's uh 4 30 p.m so you're a day ahead right so you guys are um 18 hours ahead is that true hey chicho dark dark ruler whiz how are you doing looks delicious might have a hand at uh cooking during this cool it's really good 
like with the applesauce is amazing like i mix it up because the coconut makes it dry and i'm popping on an orange so the mix is amazing right and it's got chocolate dark chocolate in there too so super yummy vouch for that chicho hey chicho hello vc how are you doing dragons hey chicho what's up chat it is the ninth of april for me yeah so you guys are 18 hours ahead new zealand cool i sent uh when i was selling some comic books on ebay i had one person buy a whole bunch of comics on ebay and we held off until we could send them a package wow it cost a lot of money to send those comics to new zealand <laughs> huge <laughs> always be making i'm a teacher but i have even less uh participation than i did the first week i said a few weeks ago i was afraid it is too late for them to get us excited about learning i wish i knew how to excite people better than they are now it take always be making it's gonna take time seriously brother you should see how long it took me i've been at this for 20 years right man it it took time and it's word of mouth that goes out right like when i moved to this new city i still kept my students from the other city so for, for the first two years i came here i was going back every week like whew, exhausting cost me money exhausting but i couldn't let go of the students right and slowly i've been here like seven years now i guess um so word of mouth has gotten out where oh you get chicho you get chicho teach math get chicho so all of a sudden there's a it's almost exponential at some point i won't be able to take the capacity anymore right so right now i'm trying to fill as many uh, as help out as many people as possible fill in as many spots as possible right um because people need the help uh, but i'm lucky to a certain degree always be making i uh, like the, the, i have students from all spectrums right I don't have students well i do that no i can't say i have students from all spectrums right so i can mix it up and i do one-on-one -on -one. it's a different different thing or two on uh one on two and stuff like this it's a different thing than trying to motivate 30 kids in a classroom it's virtually impossible and you can't sustain that for extended periods of time martin how are you doing i'm here i'm awake <laughs> martin <laughs> crack me up for for those of you that want to know this camera is going to zoom in and out. for those of you that want to know martin's in the uk so they're eight hours ahead right so <laughs> this whole time is at 1 30 in the morning <laughs> awesome i hope uh i hope the action yesterday with the gloves and the lotion went well <laughs> went well <with> martin <laughs> quinn okay hey everybody will show how are you doing chicho has no limits well he can't afford uh afford to know them it's a big pain shipping things into new zealand huge oh my god my mom has a business where she ships things from china and it is a big expense of making everything here more yeah it was it was crazy i was like how much wow i've been streaming every weekend but i have one student student viewer out of 140 i thought my relationships were uh, don't do it on the weekends always be making not on the weekends right i do streams on the weekends because that's when i can fill them in right do it on a weekday for some reason a lot of students they think weekends are break time they don't they don't want to do school work learn anything on the weekends they're out to play so they're already programmed into the slave lifestyle of working nine to five and partying on the weekends right so if they're already programmed in that method brainwashed uh, indoctrinated into that system work with them on that system right now as much as you can you have like for me when i work with my students i make me available uh on the times and days that they want me to be available i don't go with my schedule I go with I go with 
I go with their schedule. I have to, uh, because I'm trying to teach them math. I'm, I'll do whatever it takes to teach them, right? So I go with their schedule. That's why if you go to on my Discord and Patreon and you like, every, I've said this from the beginning. Uh, when I, when I say, okay, what do you guys want to stream? What 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 do you guys want to do? I say, just let me know when, and I'll try to make myself available during those days and times, right? So when you're doing it this way, you have to be flexible on them okay so it's sort of very shift work style of doing this yes very well it went well martin nice 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 <laughs> i won't go deep into it <laughs> hello mister hello wolf how are you doing entropy hi 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 i'm exhausted today oh oh that's good if you're exhausted i hope it's uh, uh, extracurricular activity good afternoon isolation day 15 here yeah for me it's sort of they haven't really locked us down but they suggested so like I'm barely leaving the house I haven't left the house for I don't know four or five days and the only time I leave the house is to go for a walk and I go for a walk and I come back uh, it's a two-hour gig right uh, good afternoon uh, da, 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 da. I said weekday oh weekday okay weekday well maybe stream on the weekends ask them when they're available is this stream suitable for me if i don't know math for sure wolf for sure keep it secret keep it safe keep it secrets keep it safe i went on a 30 mile bike ride through uh manhattan brooklyn and nice dragons awesome new york i know i shouldn't do that but the streets were vacant cool as long as you're keeping your physical distance safe distance from people why not right and uh, by the way gang uh, we're on patreon okay so if you want to follow us patreon is a good way to be you know good place to check out and if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to support this work okay um, we are for those that are watching this on another, another platform we are live streaming this on twitch so if you want to catch these live twitch is where you want to be at okay um i do announce these streams on twitter mines gaps vk and elo uh, those are sort of social platforms i'm i'm on i will try to follow cool and oh spider-man thank you very much um and we do upload these on youtube and bitshoot okay everything goes on bitshoot almost everything is going on youtube right now everything's going on youtube right now uh we'll see where that goes once youtube filters and sensors go into hardcore production mode right hardcore production mode because they are going into hardcore production mode right so hopefully we'll be okay there and if you're on youtube we just got authorized for uh youtube channel membership okay so you can join youtube uh that's a good way to support this project as well as well as joining on twitch either through tier one or amazon prime and stuff like this because amazon prime doesn't ding you it dings amazon which is a beautiful beautiful thing right and flatten the curve gang um, it is important it is important okay don't overwhelm your healthcare system because that's the line that you see here that you see here doop, 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 that line right there that's the capacity that your healthcare system wherever you live can take so some places their healthcare systems are really good so they can take a heavier load some places not so much right depending on where you are make sure you're in the gray zone where your healthcare providers can you know they're not overwhelmed they can take care of everyone okay you don't want to be in the red zone in the red zone it means not enough bed not enough nurses not enough equipment not enough doctors you're going to be waiting in line to have access to healthcare providers and if they don't get to you fast enough might uh might be time to check out you don't want to push it to that level right so take care okay be aware aside from that uh, let's do a little mathematics Boop. evening to join intelligent blueberry how are you doing here in new zealand we're on full lockdown uh we're only allowed going on walks and going into town to get food we only have around 1,000 cases and one death that's good Quinn 
we're doing a relatively good job compared to other countries yeah that's fantastic oh, really it's just delaying it until because we really don't know what this is right so you just want to delay it until you figure out what the hell's going on i meant to join but i don't know which level yet oh martin <laughs> take your time brother i'm gonna be around for a long time and thank you thank you for wanting to join okay I'll always be making i'll save my questions for the education stream we're doing soon yeah let's talk about education then let's focus on mathematics mm -hmm. right now but just be warned i'm going to be doing a lot of chatting okay would it help if i submitted my questions ahead of time always be making yeah post them on discord because there might be people that might not be able to go on the live stream that want to participate in the discussion so post your questions on discord or your concerns and your thoughts on discord in the education folder i'm pretty sure we have one and uh slowly we'll tackle it right because this might be a long-term thing people were outside today in in park in my area at least 30 people and groups of six plus together close proximity more that's just silliness right it, I, irrelevant of what people think this is if it's real or not real if it's really contagious or not contagious be respectful because the the people around you are your community right so if they're your community you don't want to make people anxious and stress them out and induce fear into your community because once you induce fear into community it takes a while for it to dissipate and you don't want to be the dangling standing out saying what a moron that guy is right am i allowed to say that on twitch i don't even know anymore all right it's silly you know irrelevant of what you think it is right here in new zealand we have done more than flatten the curve we're going uh going down in additionally confirmed cases compared to previous days awesome quinn that's good Moss, thank you for taking your business is it possible to do physics problems during a math stream even if algebra based for sure vc yeah my background is uh geophysics by the way uh, i'm really rusty on my physics uh, i know my mathematics more but what do you think uh, would happen to those countries that don't consider quarantine well we're seeing sweden we were talking about uh, looking at the data out of Sweden, right? Because they were taking the uh, taking the measure of les affaires, right? Let, let it be, see where it goes. And it looks like their numbers are increasing hardcore. So it looks like they're going to induce, uh, suggest uh, more tighter measures. Okay. Martin, thank you. Nicholas, how are you doing? Hey, Cho, what's up, bro? Doing good, brother. Doing good. Maz no mercy no mercy yeah it's not worth it anymore right um it's it, it, i'm okay with mercy i'm okay with people who are just playing and stuff like this but right now it's a little tight right now the situation is is heavy right so the trolls being heavy they're they're the ones that need a little smacking around right not literally violence never solves anything right dragons yeah there are those mass gatherings for funerals of uh, figures who died of coronavirus just don't get it i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it either <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> you should be able to say whatever you want on twitch really uh you should be able to say whatever you want anywhere really as far as i'm concerned right um within reason i mean don't go into it don't go into a church and say i am satan you could if you want but what are you an idiot <laughs> so you can be an idiot and they're allowed to throw you out but it's it's ridiculous censorship is absurd right josie uh should do some more um asteroid problems turns out they can boil lots of water choice <laughs> by the way we did a huge asteroid problem for one math stream trying to figure out how much of lake erie we would evaporate and stuff like this and we figured out it was multiple lake eries it was devastating it was amazing super fun catholic traditionalist i like the idea of posting questions to discord i would love to participate in the education discussion but it might not be online on friday since it is good friday yeah catholic traditions exactly like that's one reason the discord has turned out to be amazing where we are and you can find the link on our twitch page and the description of this video on youtube and bitchu that is loaded on right and there's the links and all the all the other platforms i'm on amazing discussions taking place right 
I've been waiting, wanting to get a degree in video game development and mathematics is the core of designing and programming games. So these streams make me dream, make my dream come close. Awesome, Spider-Man. So what math are you planning on doing today? Uh, Quinn, I, high school math, open question, almost whatever you want. I reviewed for like 15 minutes the calculus question that Olive had on the previous stream. She, she wanted to know, so I can do a little quick calculus introduction. Um, but I'm just waiting to see if there's any any important any urgent questions that people have right now regarding math because I know people are studying from home and they're they're, they're uh, students that are concerned about their grades and the content because they need to know this material before they move on to the next year right so um, if there's any questions on math coming up I mean we're about 20 minutes into this so I might do the calculus right away because we haven't uh, no quite no math questions have come up yet the trolls in this chat seem to be different from garden variety uh, twist trolls they're just strange <laughs> yeah try again there's a few strange ones <laughs> I'm a qualified door uh, supervisor violence is the last resort but sometimes that's sometimes sometimes and it's not uh, unfortunately the the confrontation physical confrontation it's not going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them it's submission if the situation just keep this in mind gang if the situation ever arises where there's physical confrontation happening you don't want to go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone to see who causes more damage on the other person and stuff like this you're going into submission right that's why wrestling and jujitsu are two of the best self-protection uh, courses training uh, that you can take because most physical confrontations don't last more than 10 seconds okay if you're smart about it and the one who can submit the other person is is over grapple done like really three seconds it's over okay uh, isn't glass a verb where you are glass glass i don't know you got to be vigilant vigilant did you hear the breaking news burning yeah for sure tested negative <laughs> if you don't mind me asking what's your ethnicity i am asking because you look familiar uh system of a down <laughs> search thank you <laughs> I'm uh, Armenian blood born in Iran West Coast Canadian I'm West Coast Canadian mentality yes it's a dangerous area I live in yeah yeah Martin uh, I'm pretty sure uh, companies like YouTube and Twitch aren't legally liable for the comments that are made on their websites meaning they're the phone company not the pub a uh, publication so they have no bias where they need to censor anything uh quinn they censor up the yin yang or youtube more than twitch so far right but google oh my god they, they censor up the yin yang right that's why i use most of my searches are through duck duck go not google right one last night pun one plus one sometimes equals one <laughs> sometimes equals one sometimes they cancel each other out as zero right oh, okay chicho can you teach me how quadratics work I uh, somewhat understand how to find the equation and what uh, not uh, but I am super confused with how it exactly works sure Quinn Aikido and Kung Fu for me okay Aikido Kung Fu cool basis oh boy Mask of Raven yeah they shouldn't have to Mask of Raven how are you doing uh, quadratics we've done a lot by the way Quinn if you do a search for chicho quadratics you'll find it okay so i can do a speedy gonzalez version for you just to explain to you what it is it'll take five minutes because there's a lot of people who have been on the previous live streams they've seen the quadratics play out multiple times right chicho glass for glasses in action is it hey dolphin how are you doing hi chicho hope all is well that explains i am kurdish born in turkey awesome uh, my father speaks Turkish by the way my point is they have no valid reason for doing they have no valid reasons for doing it of course not but it's control mechanism right twitch wants to lure 
advertisers so they censor content ah, I don't think it's just about advertisers it's about control okay when Google bought a YouTube I lost all hope yeah not that they aren't doing it okay, okay. found Tokyo goes from a seller here in Sweden looking forward to the shipment awesome also my wife loves the 10 by 10 puzzle you showed in your videos also peace brother good to see you awesome Nikki awesome awesome on all parts by the way go Tokyo goes I hope you love it and 10 by 10 what a meditative uh, game would you be able to show us some matrix vector up oh I haven't done it I'm really good at it I used to I aced the whole thing like 98% at university and I taught it to myself I have an amazing book that teaches it but I forgot how to do, do the determinants of matrices I would have to do a review on it okay really Tokyo goes is great Sean Murphy's art is a beautiful art beautiful art uh, when I have the opportunity dolphin I'll review that material but before we get into this let me deal with the quadratic it's gonna take five minutes for those of you seen this you want to get a little snack break five minutes I'll be done and then I'm gonna show you guys an intro to calculus okay I just did a little review for 15 minutes I got the time and I did a little review and I'm gonna do this so we'll I'll post a message to all of on our discord just say watch this segment hopefully it'll help her out okay but here's what quadratics are quadratics are uh, functions that are x to the power of 2 basically the polynomials of the form f of x is equal to uh, let's call it a1 x to the power of n plus a2 x to the power of n minus 1 all the way down da, 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 to a constant c okay now quadratic uh, sorry polynomials these are polynomials okay where a1 a2 all the way down to c they're all just very um, uh, constants they're numbers okay x is just your variable and n has to be n is the element of the natural numbers right so n can be positive whole numbers counting numbers quadratics are the ones where x is to the power of 2 so if it's x to the power of 2 okay let's call it a1 x to the power of 2 the next level down would be a2 x to the power of 2 minus 1 which is 1 plus x to the power of 0 which is just a constant which would be a3 x to the power of 0 but x to the power of 0 is 1 anything to the power of 0 1 is 1 so it's a to the a3 and a3 which is called a constant in general right it's just a number okay so quadratic is a function that is x to the power of 2 you don't need this you don't need the constant so it could be just x to the power of 2 with a number in front it could be x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 1 or it could be x to the power of 2 plus a constant or it could be x to the power of 2 plus x to the power of 1 plus a constant okay that's what a quadratic is so chicho imagine there are two horses in a triangle field on the sphere that's <laughs> great when i love it we did that problem last stream or a couple of streams ago okay so this is what a quadratic is visually this is what a quadratic is a quadratic either opens up or opens down it's a curve it's a parabola it's the trajectory of, of trajectory of a pen watch this hopefully I can catch and not make noise that is a parabola okay so this thing could look like this or look like this right and there's different versions different functions give you each one right and guess what quadratics are made up of two lines multiplied together right so for example let me give you an example I don't know I think that's uh, is easier to use y instead of uh, f of x uh, at this level students don't understand the true meaning of f of x f of x is y right f of x is y that's it right I know a lot of people have a hard time with f of x f of x means y this doesn't mean f times x it means f of x they're one thing yeah I'm uh, uh, my age group for this we use y let's use y okay but get used to f of x it's a better better presentation of a function okay let's call it y 
So for example, let's assume you have the following function. Y is equal to X plus two, and you have, so that's Y one, that's one function. And then you have Y two is equal to, let's go three X minus one, right? If you're studying quadratics, you know how to graph lines. So we're gonna graph lines. Uh, this guy is two, slope is one over one. So that's that line. This guy is negative one. Slope is three over one, one, two, three, one. That's that line. So, hey, let's create a new function. That's what we do in mathematics. We take one function here, one function there, put them together. What do we got, right? So let's create two functions. I'm gonna create a new function. I'm gonna call it, what do you wanna call it? F of X, <laughs> right? <laughs> and F of X makes it much easier to refer to in uh, to Y at a given X, yeah. Right. So what are we going to call the new function? What should we call it? H, W, Z? Uh, you'll see uh, it in more advanced functions in the future, like the inverse function. In Toronto, you will see that in grade 11. Thing. Uh, yeah, in grade 11 and in grade 10 in Vancouver, in BC anyway, right? So let's create a new function. Let's call it Y3, right? What, what do... What kind of function are we going to create? Oh, we're going to multiply y1 times y2. y1 times y2. Well, y1 is x plus 2, and y2 is 3x minus 1. Okay, so y3 is x plus 2 times 3x minus 1. Okay, cool. So what are we doing here? We're going to create a new function that is this function times that function, which is this line times this line. So we're going to visually, we're going to create a new function, which is a line times another line. Okay. That's what a quadratic is if we're creating it, right? So this becomes, foil the sucker out, you get 3x squared minus x plus 6x minus 2, which is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. Here is y3, right? That's our quadratic function. Guess what? What does the graph of this look like? The graph of this looks like this. What? We just multiply two lines, I got this, right? That's what you're studying. Quadratics are the next level above lines. Why are we studying quadratics? Because most polynomials, all polynomials, all polynomials, right? And a polynomial is something like this. This is a polynomial, right? That's a polynomial function. So this is what it looks like written out. Here's an example of a polynomial function, right? Example of a polynomial function, visual. Here's a polynomial function. Right? That's a polynomial function. Well, guess what? This function is made up of lines multiply together so these are lines you can call you can think of them as prime factors right so for example if you have six you're going to break down six six breaks down into two times three right so six the building blocks of six are the two prime numbers two and three well the building blocks of this function are x plus two and three x minus one okay the building blocks of this function is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at least seven lines multiplied together. Okay, that's what it is. Now, before we go into studying polynomials and seven lines multiplied together, this would be x to the power of seven. y is equal to a co coefficient, a number in front x to the power of 7 because it changes direction 7 times that tells you what the power is this is changing direction twice so it's x squared x to the power of 7 plus the rest of it okay based on the definition of a polynomial so the reason you're studying quadratic functions is to kick yourself up to be able to appreciate understand more complicated functions in the future that being said, there's a lot of stuff that follows the principles of a quadratic function. So that's why you're studying this. 
And basically, quadratics are two lines multiplied together. As for how to graph these things, how to find the uh, vertex of this thing, the axis of symmetry and stuff like this, do a search for Chicho quadratic functions completing the square. Just type in here. I'm going to erase these. Type in in our search. I got like we got at least four or five videos on this, right? Probably more, six or seven or eight, right? I did a whole series, language of mathematics, graffiti style, on the walls, going out in the city, doing big chalk and some of the stuff, cutting it to rap music, right? <laughs> like doing mathematics, right? Look for Chicho. Uh, completing the square okay do a search for chicho completing the square it'll show you how to graph these things okay i hope that's okay uh, da, 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 da. there's a lot of chat going on if you go on to learn calculus this will all make sense yeah what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to do a little intro for calculus okay if that's cool uh, grade 10 what age is grade 10 15 I don't recall doing this at school you don't re remember doing this at school Martin for sure you guys did it 15 or 16 yeah okay so next year for me next year for you probably Quinn important okay if you go on to learn calculus as well it makes sense right it's like a cheat code to mathematics cool calculus is when I really found my love for math some parabolas you need two imaginary yeah two imaginary lines like over here you would have a couple of imaginary lines multiplied together somewhere okay most likely quadratics are very useful for basic physic physics problems yeah parabolas projectiles there are all all the gamings uh, like all games really they have physics in them and they all have quadratics in them the functions that they follow right because it's just gravity they have to introduce the concept of gravity in there are very useful for basic physics problems parabolas are very useful when you understand how to drive equations from certain problems yeah and we've done a few of those driving the quadratic equation of a function yeah that would make tons of sense for physics yes uh how you how us this math used in the world uh how is this used in the real world it could be maximizing revenue and if you do chicho maximizing revenue completing the square and do a search for maximizing revenue we did a maximizing revenue i believe it's one of the problems we did uh, for personal finance or economics where i was trying to maximize revenue selling firecrackers to other students in high school <laughs> I didn't know completing the square back then, but we did it after the facts. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to change uh, seven times, though. Like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the thingamajiggy is on it, right? It could be like the next. Is if that's what you mean, mask over here, right? Like the next one could be x cubed plus two, right? Well, that wouldn't graph that, but. Uh, there's nuances involved with it that's right important to keep that in mind polynomials yes yes here's that oh awesome spider-man thank you very much swiss 59 how are you doing i turned 15 in five days nice happy birthday quinn in general uh, quadratics are useful to know for logarithmic functions which are the inverse of an exponential function yeah and basically what iron uh, smash is talking about is this uh quad uh, it's not uh, quadratic well it is i guess but it's, it's, it's exponential right because logarithmic functions are this that's an exponential and logarithmic does this to wiki right or yeah basically wait i remember that now uh, my call of duty is uh, q based Ch -ch -ch -ch. in engineer i have a problem that combine calculus quadratic equations and complex numbers all in one it was so cool seeing things come together like that yeah i wish they were doing this they taught this in high school right money yes money maximizing oh spider-man you rock 
I posted an essay in the education folder Discord that I would really appreciate your uh, input on in the education stream on April 10th. Okay, I'll always be making. Is it really long? I hope you got a condensed version, brother. I'm going full speed right now, right? So my time is very condensed uh, because I'm. I, I have to stay up with the politics and economics, right? That is a passion that I have. Okay, so all the other articles that are very extended, if you can do, it's like a page. Oh yeah, that's okay. Page is good. Page is good. Happy quarantine birthday. Happy quarantine birthday. Not to minimize any younger viewers, but seeing this now is extremely basic. When you have done more complicated functions, go on to learn math. It will help day to day. One hundred percent. Iron iron mount iron mountain smash uh, uh 100 i mean just imagine if you're if you're in high school right now right let's say you're in grade 10 okay if you think things are difficult right now just think back two years in grade eight there was mathematics you were trying to learn that was considered that you would have considered oh this is really difficult i'll never learn it and now that we look back on it two years ago you're like oh man that is so easy and you see people struggling with it you're like what are you guys dumb dumbs that is so easy but remember you used to think that was hard right so whatever you're encountering right now in mathematics that you think is hard it's not hard it's just new you just have to put the time and the effort in to learn it okay ridiculously important and if you go into every every bit of knowledge information that you encounter with the same mindset congratulations you're a free human being right that is what you need to do you need to be proactive in your education don't be a passive consumer of information be active right spider-man is linking very much appreciated spider-man by the way did you ever study statistics oh yeah for sure t distribution standard oh for sure for sure i took uh, stats all the way to third year i don't I, and i used to teach it in high school but they took it out of the curriculum i was pissed right because i love stats but i haven't taught it on a full-time basis for like 15 years they took it out 15 years ago so i'm not as powerful i have to relearn a lot of statistics but the z z distribution and standard deviation and variation linear regression i used to do a lot of that stuff for geophysics as well in the 1990s right when i was working as a geophysicist most of the benefits from math for me isn't because uh, i use calculus daily but just the way of looking at problems yeah just a way of looking at the world as mask of raven says every language you learn in your life gives you a different perspective so you can understand things a little differently right look at problems in a different light and sometimes shining a light on a problem in this angle makes it obvious right i believe it's robert anton wilson that i don't know if this is true or not he said basically it's easier to understand uh relatively relativity uh, einstein's theory of electrodynamics of moving bodies in swahili than it is in english now i don't know if that's true or not but i speak three languages and there's certain concepts that are easier to understand in the different language now just imagine if you learn the universal language right the language that defines the universe which is mathematics just imagine how much power you would have to try to understand the world wow 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 congratulations you just became a free human being right they they my my theory is they remove stuff from the curriculum to dumb people down right i use math this morning full uh stock take and profit margin for last quarter nice uh, what are we working on right now elemental that's what i also say. uh right now i'm gonna do a little intro to calculus okay that's a Feynman techniques. If you want to know your level of understanding, teach it to a five-year-old. If you can't, you don't understand it well enough. This is a great way to master subjects. Teach it to others. Teach it to others. Thank you very much, Merely Human. My mathematics became powerful when I started teaching mathematics, not when I was studying mathematics, getting a math minor, getting my geophysics degree, doing geophysics for 10 years. My math became powerful when I started teaching it because students would ask me questions and I didn't know the answer to, so I would have to look it up. 
transmission is the ultimate code of learning transmission is the ultimate ultimate mode of learning good point i'm an engineer and i can attest that i use calculus linear algebra differential equation all the time on on an almost daily basis okay i'm going to scroll down just to make sure there's no math questions before we jump into the calculus if there is uh for inference 78 percent profit margin 78 percent profit margin. that's good martin <laughs> that's good uh too complicated for me so far i've been good without using it everyone's uh, different i guess uh el el homiro uh, but i have heard a lot of people benefit from it what are you just mathematics in general or calculus calculus i don't use in my daily life but the understanding of calculus what it represents i use every day in my life which is the concept of change rate of change how things change the introduction of time into calculus into mathematics that's the way i look at it they took stuff out of the curriculum in here but we still have the option to take the test and get the extra credits and uh, stuff uh, just that our teachers won't teach us uh, teach us. yeah and slowly they'll disappear right oh, very unfortunate very awesome i always consider engineering i'm going on to become a biochemist cool so unfortunately my major is slowly starting away from math god uh, if you go far enough i'm pretty sure it's going to clink back onto math another 5k for my portfolio nice martin uh if a teach will not, if a teacher will not teach it to you see if you can find someone else to teach you or teach it to yourself or teach it to yourself you can call me geo geo nice but geo g geo isn't i hope I'll, if I don't remember geo let me know again slowly I'll remember okay let's do a little intro to calculus okay and let me see what time we're on we're about 45 minutes in and I'm gonna do the intro that I know to calculus okay I just did a 15 minute review of it the book that I have thank you very much dolphin the book that I have which is this guy okay this is my to go to book I got this at university and this is the book that taught me calculus I didn't have a teacher teach me calculus I I took calculus I had professors that taught me calculus but I didn't learn calculus from them I learned calculus by reading this book okay so this is my to go to book one of the most precious books I have in my collection because I use it the most I've spent many hours on this book right so I went to the part where it shows you the fundamental theorem of calculus I think I'm calling it right fundamental theorem of calculus right so I'm going to give you a visual okay of what calculus allows you to do on a very basic rudimentary level mask of Raven and there's a couple other people here that know calculus well if I make a mistake I'm gonna keep my eye on the chat because I just did a 15-minute review if I make a mistake let me know so I can correct it so people that are gonna watch this specifically olive if you're watching this you won't get false information from me okay is this meant for a specific person because quadratics to calculus is a jump I say uh, I wouldn't say well the quadratics to calculus yeah to a certain degree but we could use quadratics to talk about the calculus right I think quadratics was a review segment calculus is the main content I think I I'm trying to right because I know the person that requested this lives in Norway right and they're nine hours ahead so I haven't I don't have another math stream lined up for another two weeks at least uh so i think they needed help with their class okay so the best i could do is just review quickly okay in your experience what is one thing that makes people struggle with calculus uh the way it's taught <laughs> really the way it's taught <laughs> that's it okay and understanding fractions right you have to understand fractions limits and stuff like this but it's just just goes down to the way it's taught okay bad teachers bad system no really yeah really mathematics the reason why people struggle with mathematics is because it's taught poorly period that that's the only reason right and why is it taught poorly because of centralized education system controls the curriculums right 
never been great at math but i respect it i recognize importance super awesome that you're doing uh, yeah we have to we have to math anxiety and not knowing functions well yeah anxiety yeah but that's that's a reflection sort of byproduct of our education system that's so correct <laughs> availability when the teacher isn't interested in teaching it's hard to be interested in learning anything can be taught if taught well yeah yeah 100 percent. calculus let me give you a little intro on calculus okay now one of the reasons we do mathematics is to try to understand the world around us right and one way we try to understand the world around us is to come up with functions that explain different systems okay and functions are basically you can get you know something a function here this is a function y is equal to 2x squared plus 5x minus 1 that's a function that's a parabola it graphs a parabola right here let me make this simpler so we can graph it so you can see exactly what it would look like right so let's assume you had plus 6 so if you're going to graph this function this function if you can factor it x plus 2 x plus 3 right and what you can do with this function is set y is equal to zero let me make a little bit of more room right let me give you a little bit more info right so if you factor this function as a quadratic function right you get this and one thing you want to do with functions is be able to graph them right so what you can do is draw your cartesian corner system x and a y and go hey i want to graph this how can i graph this you can create a table of values right and plug in numbers for x figure out what y is or plug in numbers for y and figure out what x is right so what we're going to do right now is we're going to plug in numbers and number for y and figure out what the x will be when y is a certain number and for us what we're going to do right now is we're going to plug in zero for y right so let's do this x and y let's create a table of values we're going to plug in zero for y and we're going to try to figure out what y is now we can plug it in this part and go zero is equal to x squared plus five x plus six right so we got x squared plus five x plus six is equal to zero remember that's your y that i just substituted for zero it doesn't make a difference if i put the equal sign here or equal sign here okay i like my zero the equal sign to be on the other side when i'm trying to solve equations right so if we're going to solve this we're going to factor it x plus 2 x plus 3 and the power of 0 and we have a video out that says you know what what's the power of 0 one thing that 0 allows you to do is if you have two things or more things multiplied together to give you 0 you can set each one equal to 0 so you can go x plus 2 is equal to 0 x plus 3 is equal to 0 so x is equal to negative 2 and x is equal to negative 3 what did we just find out right what did we just find out we just found out what x can be when y is zero right so if we set y is zero then x can be negative two or negative three what does that mean that means a we just found two points on this function on this graph right so when x is negative two y is zero when x is negative three y is zero so we can put these two points on the graph right let's go here's negative one here's negative two here's negative three so negative two and zero negative three and zero those are two points on the graph right cool so if when y is zero x can be negative two and when x is negative three y again can be zero well what does that tell us that tells us this graph is not a line unless it goes like this i mean no it's not well we know this thing is a function okay and because of the way it's written we know it's a parabola and it looks like this right and the way it looks there's an axis of symmetry here so we know that the function goes like this right because the number up here is positive okay now we need more than two points to be able to graph a parabola so what we can do is just plug in another point let's say plug in the middle point here x is negative 2.5 right because no one says we have to just plug in values for y we can plug in x is equal to negative 2.5 
Let's see what happens between these two points when x is negative 2.5. If we plug negative 2.5, we can plug it into the original one, or we can plug it into the factored version, right? So what I'm going to do, and you wouldn't erase any of this, right? If you're doing the work trying to graph something, don't erase it. But we've got limited space. I'm going to erase, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to take the original function, y is equal to this, and I'm going to factor it, and I want to plug in negative 2.5 for x and find out what the y is, right? Negative 2.5 plus 2, negative 2.5 plus 3, right? Negative 2.5 plus 2 is negative 0.5, negative 0 0.5, negative 2.5 plus 3 is 0.5, 0 0.5, right? 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is 0 0.25, and a negative times a positive is negative, right? So this is negative 0 0.25. Now I'm going through the Speedy Gonzalez style because I want to get to the calculus, right? So I'm just giving you a basic function that we're going to look at, okay? So all of a sudden, when x is negative 2.5, y is negative 0 0.25. And Chad, if I'm making any calculation problems, please let me know, right? So all of a sudden, we got this. If this is, this is negative 1 here, when x is negative 2.5, y is negative 0.25, which is about here. So this graph comes down like this, boop, and goes back up and shoots up, okay? So we just graphed a quadratic function. The numbers are laughing at me. I know. Happy face, is that what it is? Right? So we just graphed a quadratic function. Now, what does calculus do? Okay. Let me erase all this. Now, keep this graph in mind. I'm going to make it bigger. Okay. I'm going to kill these guys too. Because what we want to do is take a close look at this thing. So... We got this guy so far. Okay. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative one. One, one. Let's put a scale there, right? So we had this. And here, and the graph goes like this. Does that look like a parabola? Hmm. Let me draw a little bit better. My parabola sucks. So much more interesting when I'm not learning for a grade. Yeah, for sure. Right, Big Witty? Crazy. Right? A grade? What is a grade? You're learning for the sake of learning and doing. Right? Take a look at that. Right? Well, this was an easy function to graph. Right? This is what calculus allows us to do. Calculus says this. Let me bring a different color pen. Let's see if our red is okay. Oh no, there's you can't tell the difference between those guys. Let me do a green. Let's bring out a green. I don't want to make too much noise. The mic is right beside it. Mm, is that dark enough? That's not dark enough. Purple? Purple? Purple. We're going to go with purple. Purple, purple. Okay, take a look at this. Calculus allows us to do this, right? When we're trying to understand functions, this is a simple function. It does this. I mean, this is very predictable. You can see where it goes. It just goes on forever, right? This is very predictable. It just goes on forever. Right? Boop. Right? And it comes down and it does a little turn and we found the point, right? Now, just imagine if you had a more complicated function, right? You were given an equation or you were given a visual, a graph, and you're trying to find the exact points where things change up, right? So let's assume we had a function, right? Let's assume we had this guy, something like this. Now, there would be a written format of this, right? An expression representing this function. 
uh, that graph would work great for my uh, creatine creatine input output ratio right so you would have a function like this that represents this and in the real world right when you're taking mathematics and you when you're trying to apply the mathematics to the system when you're trying to understand the system the system is predictable if if it's going like this right like there isn't really anything going on it's going in this direction at a given magnitude right what is important for functions is when they change directions when they when they go in another way when the momentum changes right so for example take a look at this what are the important points of this function think about this what are the important points of this function well the important points are one of them would be oops, one of them would be the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis right another one would be where it crosses the x-axis right so for this guy we found the x-axis that's the first thing where it crosses the x-axis different <laughs> That where we where we where we found out we're across the x-axis and because we knew this thing was a parabola a quadratic function we knew it was symmetrical so all we did we took the average of negative two and negative three and plugged it into the equation found the y and we found a place where it switches it changes right so we found this point here right it changes direction and goes the other way wow cool so what are some of the other important points on this graph well where it changes direction is an important point right those are important points there is another type of location on these functions which are important and those are where they change their convexity i guess in uh I didn't I didn't read the name what it's called uh, mask of Ravenwood uh, um, got my differential equation is out to a mask of Raven uh, what's it called when incidents no we change the convexity so for example take a look at this thing this thing's going like this so it's facing down facing now facing down over here somewhere here okay it was facing down and then it changes and starts facing up right inflection point thank you very much very much uh nukshin. okay inflection points yeah i was just curious because I, uh, i'm gonna make the these two classes part of my major okay awesome so these are in this is an inflection point because the function here was like this and then over here it's like this so where it touches it's important over here it's doing the same thing inflection point inflection point right so if you're able to find all the important points the inflection point is where the convex convexity thank you very much die dice power you can tell i really i only looked at this thing for 15 minutes i had downtime i could look this up right it's where the convexity changes right so here and here and here right so once you realize that functions represent or an equation really that we've come up with to try to understand the world around us right then what what's important of a function is all the places where changes occur right because if you can define the location of all these points you can graph this function and that means you understand this function right the ter terminology is kind of goofy sometimes people use convex concave sometimes concave up con yeah i thought it was called concavity i'm huge at the moment <laughs> About 20 what? what what's going on so take a look at this this pen is because i'm trying to write over this thing is there that's coming out darker i'm looking at the screen it's not coming out as dark as i would like it right. there is a point right so how do we find these points how do we find these crucial critical points right well we can use calculus 
one way we can use calculus is we can look at a function and try to find out what the slope of a function is because when you find the slope of a function at a given point it'll tell you what the function is doing okay good place for sample problems. now take a look at this here is a concavity let's take a look at this green oh look at that green that's nice dark hopefully it comes off easy ah, not bad we use this green take a look at this let's assume go back to this function you're standing on here here how do we draw a sideways person let's assume you're standing here right Whoop. that's a dude right or a dudette <laughs> right? so let's assume this person is coming here standing here and they're moving along this function along this line right at every point along this line this thing has a tangent that means just imagine what a tangent is just imagine if you had a ball right attached to a rope and you were going around gave it momentum and this ball was going around this pivot and you cut it right if you cut it the ball is just going to fly off in a straight line so just imagine here is a point here is a ball going around this point attached to this thing right it's going around in a circle right and it's going at a rapid or not rapid pace if you cut the string here this ball is going to go right it's going to go straight out right it's no longer constrained with the rope to go around this way it's not going to take that turn but it's going to go shoot straight that way right now that's exactly what a tangent line is here from this point there would be a tangent going and it touches the function only at one location okay what calculus allows you to do is to figure out what the slope is at every point along a function okay how does that help us to find these points here because if we find those points there we can graph this function we don't need random points because these are the critical points like for example for this function for us to be able to understand it this point is not as important as that point because this point here is continuing along the way it's doing it's not changing right at this point all of a sudden it starts going down again right so those are the crucial points right just imagine if you're driving on a road you can just stay on that road in a straight line and just keep on going the only time that really matters that requires your attention if there is a turn coming right if there's a turn coming then you have to turn with it right Boop. over here the turn we're going to assume it's a straight line going like this until it starts going down right to a certain degree this it's not a straight line but you get the sort of analogy i hope okay so our main concern is how do we find these points right well one of the ways we can find these points is these guys are easy to find that's one reason they uh you learn about this uh you learn about this in uh grade 10 right for this guy all you have to do to find out where the function crosses the x-axis is to set y is equal to zero which is exactly what we did here right we set y is equal to zero we set y is equal to zero and we found these two points right so that part doesn't involve calculus given any type of function just set y is equal to zero and find those points easy peasy the next important not straight but equally equally exponential yeah this isn't straight but equally exponential there's a there's a uh, rate of decline or rate of increase which is consistent right so if you're on a constant curve going like this you can just 
put a little thing on it and just cost just turn the wheel in a certain way and it'll just constantly turn in that direction right so where was i where was i where was i oh yeah you set the y is equal to zero you find your x intercepts so congratulations you found this you found this you found this you learn how to do that in grade 10 and grade 11 okay the other crucial point you need to find is this this and this and that right where it's turning right it's either instead of increasing it's now decreasing or instead of decreasing it's now increasing right well think about this if you're standing here right a tangent line here goes like this right so a tangent is a line and a line has a slope right a curve going minus, to avoid your curve going minus right so a tangent is a line and a line has a slope right so this guy here we'll draw it here so from here the slope of this line is this right okay now you can move closer to this point and again this thing has a slope but what's going on and over here you have another point oops that's crappy line right so just imagine you standing here right going on this curve and you're walking right so initially this is a steep slope and this one is getting a little less steep this one is getting a little little less steep right because this is an equation of a line right so steep not so steep less steep at the peak here at this point here the line looks like this now ask yourself what's the slope of this line if you're walking on a flat road what's the slope of a road that's flat and horizontal okay what's the slope of a flat line zero right so just imagine if we had a way to calculate the slope of this function at every point then all we would have to do is calculate find out where the slope of the function at every point on this line a slope of the tangent at every point on this line was zero so for example here you would have the same thing this would go like this dip, 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 boop. the slope there is zero here too the slope is zero here too the slope is zero right wow cool so we need to have to come up with a mechanism right to be able to some kind of technique to be able to find the tangent for this function right find the tangent of these at these points on this function and that kicks you into calculus right so for example watch this i'm glad we started with that actually this sort of relates to the quadratics right for polynomial functions there is a rule you learn right for when you're doing calculus there's going to be a whole bunch of rules uh wow I've watched these videos for years, but this is the first time I'm turning in live. You <laughs> love your content, but thank you very much for coming in live. All ball, no shaft. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> thanks for popping in live. Uh, I shouldn't have read out that word. The name's loud. I'm just <laughs> to ten <laughs> The main's laughing. So take a look at this thing. Let's assume let's assume we want to find where this guy the slope of this is zero right because if we go along this guy right and then let's do one more closer and then over here it's zero right 
So what we need to do is come up with an expression. At least the name is a <laughs> Martin. I'm not going to read that. So <laughs> just imagine <laughs> if you could find, do something to this function to find out where the slope is zero. Well, there is. Okay. This is the way you would do it. For polynomial functions, it's ridiculously easy to take the derivative of the function. And the derivative of the function is basically you're finding another function which gives you the slope of that function everywhere along the function. Okay, let me say that again. We can take the derivative of this function, okay? And the new function that we come up with is allows us to find the slope of this function everywhere along the point okay so the way you take the derivative of a polynomial function let me write it here plus six for polynomial functions is easy okay all you do i'm going to write a generic one here let's assume a x to the power of n uh, and then plus something else whatever it is right plus something else for polynomial functions when n is uh, apologies you show disregard my handle i will i'm gonna call you shaft okay oh no i'm gonna call you all hey all how you doing so if you have y is equal to a x to the power of n plus the rest of it right b x to the power of n minus one plus da, da, da. it's a polynomial function right then taking the derivative is easy all you do you take this number here the power kick it down and subtract the power by one degree okay so for example here you would go a times n and it would be x n minus one plus this term would be b times n minus one x to the power of n minus two now this looks way more complicated than it is right so i'm just going to do it on here so you see how it looks right for a polynomial function, it looks like this. You're going to take the 2, kick it down, right? x, and decrease that by 1 degree. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Plus, what's the power on the 1, on, on the x? This power is 1, right? So you're going to kick the 1 down. So it's going to be 5 times 1, x, and then 1 minus 1 is 0 to the power of 0. And the derivative of any constant is zero so six just becomes zero okay so plus zero so this becomes 2x this becomes plus five times one is one and x to the power of zero is one okay so that just becomes one so this guy becomes plus five okay so the derivative of this which is and you do this you put a little thing on top of this that's not a power y to the power it's uh what do you call it y something okay so this guy here check this out this guy here okay is the function of this guy but it's giving you the slope at every point along this function right so it's one layer deeper one layer deeper of bit of information for this function so what we want to find out right now is and this is called the slope the derivative the derivative of y is this so if we want to find the derivative of y is this and we can graph this guy by the way here watch this x this is y prime right so five one two three four five and then up to over one that's what it looks like right so that line is the function that gives us the slope of every point along this parabola right so we want to find out when is it zero when is it zero okay just set y prime 
the derivative of y to zero y prime thank you very much catholic traditionalist i've forgotten all my terminology right so what we're going to do is we're going to set y prime to zero so let's set that to zero is equal to 2x plus 5 grab that guy bring it over negative 5 is equal to 2x divide by 2 you get x is equal to negative 2.5 what what but we knew that take a look at this thing doop, 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 doop. this was negative 2 this was negative 3 this is a parabola and the middle was negative 2.5 so when x is negative 2.5 we're at the vertex we're at the point where this thing switches up right changes holy camoles right so what that means is if we want to find what the y value is there just take x is equal to negative 2.5 plug it back into the original function and find your y and we already did that before we started this example and this becomes negative 2.5 and negative 0.25 you just found the vertex of the parabola. Cool. Guess what? You can do this for this function, right? If this function, let's say x to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Well, should we do it for that one? Sure, we could do it for that one. Um, can you see this far down? You can see this far down. I'm going to write something down, right? Watch this. Let's assume the graph of this function is the following or the equation for this function is the following okay y is equal to one two three four five uh two x to the power of five plus three x cubed plus two x squared plus one okay now i didn't include the x to the power of four i didn't include x to the power of or just x to the power of one right let's assume this is the equation of this function and we want to find this point that point that point that point so what we're going to do is take the derivative of this function because the derivative of this function is the equation you need to find the slope at every point on this function, right? And what is that going to allow us to do? Well, we want to find out when the slope is equal to zero. So we're going to take the derivative of this function and let the set the derivative equal to zero and to find the x's associated with that zero point, right? So what we do is take the derivative of this. This is a polynomial function. So you take the 5, bring it down. It multiplies the 2, becomes 10. And you kick this down one level, right? So it's x to the power of 5 becomes x to the power of 4. Plus, you take the 3, bring it down, multiplies the 3, becomes 9. x and x to the power of 3, you kick it down one level, it becomes x squared. Plus, kick the 2 down, this becomes 4x and a constant becomes zero. So the derivative of this function, well, this is y prime now, right? y prime, the derivative of this function is this guy. That's the equation for it, right? So if we want to find these points, all we do, we set y prime equal to zero. Oh, okay, so zero is equal to 10x to the power of four plus nine x squared plus four x okay is that cool it's the rate of change exactly chicho i've just realized i'm not ready to help my nieces when they get to high school martin uh you will be you have a mathematical mind as they're learning learn with them really you'll the mathematics you're gonna learn you're gonna go what you first thing that's going to happen to you when you start learning math to help your nieces right because this by the way the reason i started creating videos on line okay really I, I first videos i loaded up were on vimeo daily motion and youtube in 2007 i started making videos because i was helping my nephew i was in vancouver he was in la right and he, he was having a hard time with mathematics and the way I knew to help him, you know, just doing it through email and phone wasn't working. So I started making videos to help him. Okay. So check this out. Right now, if you're into calculus, then you should be able to find the exact X points 
where this is equal to zero you find the solution to this right so once you find the x values what you're going to find out is you found this point you would find this point you'd find this point and you find this point right whatever those points are we're not going to do it right now but whatever those points are you need to do synthetic division to this to a certain degree you can factor out an x you factor out an x one of them is x is equal to zero cool we pick one that worked right so this is x is equal to zero you factor this can we go down one level watch this zero is equal to x you can factor out an x from here so this is 10x cubed plus 9x plus 4 right the power of 0 is you got things multiplied together to give you 0 so x can equal 0 and this can equal 0 and then you factor that that's x cubed you need synthetic division to do it okay the 3 and 2 at the moment that's funny I don't think uh, Pythagoras Pythagoras do that okay so once you do that, you'll find this point, this x value, let's call this x1, x2, x3. We already found this one, which is x is equal to 0. Then what you do is plug these x values into your original function, and you find the y associated with it. So congratulations, you just found the inflection point, where uh, not the inflection point, the maximum, the relative maximum that that changes. And then you would find the relative minimum, and then you would find the relative maximum, and then relative minimum, and keep on going, keep on going, right? That's what you're doing when you're doing calculus. Okay. Now, the way this works is, the way we're taking the derivative here is, there's a fundamental theorem of calculus, which is, I was actually going to teach that instead of going into this, but for some reason I went into this because this is more of the application, the, the, the understanding of it right because you don't have to do the fundamental theorem theorem of calculus every time but let's assume you just want a little taste of it the fundamental theorem of calculus says this f prime f of x and we have to use f of x when you're getting into calculus you're using f of x right f prime of x is equal to the limit limit of h approaching zero of f x zero plus h minus f x over h okay and what this is is really how you take the derivative of a function okay now for polynomials it's easy you do exactly what we just talked about you take the power bring it down multiply it by whatever coefficient was in the front and reduce the power of the polynomial down one right for other types of functions it becomes more complicated now how's our time should we do one using the fundamental theorem of calculus i don't think so uh, we could do it business cap but i would have to explain the process and the process is basically you would do this if you have a function uh i would have to erase all this stuff you, you go from one point to another point you draw a line segment and you get closer and closer and closer okay where h basically approaches zero and you're simplifying your functions until you're able to get an expression for it okay but i think i'll stop the calculus part there sort of an introduction to calculus uh, i hope that was made sense for anyone that's interested that's watching this live right now and anybody that's watching this after the fact right uh, when we load it onto BitChute and YouTube. But that's basically what we're doing. And the inflection points here, the inflection points here, you find by taking the second derivative of the function, right? So you take another derivative, set it equal to zero, and you find your inflection point, I believe anyway, right? Or you find the place where it goes from, is this positive, negative pointing down and positive pointing up, right? I think that's what happens. Uh, Catholic traditionalist. I remember my first day of calculus class in college. The professor should should show showed a derivative of the fundamental uh, theorem of calculus. He told us that we would not understand it, but that he expected us to enjoy his presentation like we would a fine symphony. <laughs> nice, and we can do it. Should we do one? It's brilliant. 
that's right. It's it's super fun. It, is that right? A thumb that the uh, the negative is down and positive is up, right? I, I think so. Because you take the second derivative, set it equal to zero, and you find where it's going from negative to positive, right? And you just, congratulations, you found these x values here, right? And then you plug them into your original function and get the y associated with it. So congratulations, you found this point and this point and this point and, uh, and this point, right? Yeah, yeah. Super cool stuff, like really. And the first time, by the way, the first time I took calculus, I didn't understand it. Really, I didn't understand it. I failed the first time I took calculus. I had to retake it again at a different university. I wasn't really into it, right? And this is the book I read to teach myself calculus because I learned nothing in class, unfortunately. Yeah, you find the critical points where the slope is zero. Yeah, cool. Awesome, right? Fantastic. And this guy here, we can do an example here. I'm going to erase all this. Let me erase all this. Here, let's find the derivative of a simple function using the fundamental theorem of calculus. I failed two times. Now I understand it. I feel you. Yeah. Like for me, by the way, I remember the moment that the moment where calculus went whoop, brilliant, right? I was I was in the library two months into a four month term course for calculus. OK, and I was just monkey see monkey do. I just want to pass the course. Right. I was reading. I was reading. I was doing I was doing examples. I was reading. And then all of a sudden I went click. I went what and then i went back to the beginning of the book and reread everything that i had done before and it was so simple so easy it made complete sense and the reason i remember it because i was sitting at the library i was by a window listening to classical music blasting it on a cd rom player right so i learned calculus listening to classical music and i highly recommend it i think i was listening to bach some piano concerto symphony something the daily industry is well protected, but the secret is out oh, now. Yeah, same. I was hitting a wall for months, then it finally started making sense, and I was like, "What? The? It's simple once it clicks. It's so simple once it clicks." I listen to Bach too. You listen to Bach too. Bach is the answer when you're studying calculus. Listen to Bach to learn calculus. Really, okay. Let's do an exact. Let's use this to find the derivative of a function. Okay. Let's say we have a simple function. Y is equal to 2x plus, what was it, the number we had, uh, 1? Okay. Let's say we want to find the derivative of this function. Okay. Should we do it more complicated? Should we do quadratic? No. Um, yeah, no, let's do this. Okay. So what this thing says is this. Take the function and introduce an h into it. Okay. So y prime which is f of x prime is equal to limit as h approaches zero of x zero plus h so wherever you see x you're going to sub this in okay so you're going to go uh ba -da -ba -ba, 2x plus h plus one minus bracket 2x plus one all divided by h okay keep please keep it simple okay so take a look at this that's 2x plus 1 but what i did i just said x plus h so you, all you do is just sub that into here it's like saying find y when x is 5. find y when x is 5 you just plug 5 in for x and you solve it over here we're saying x plus h so we plug in x plus h okay thank you chicho listening to uh baruch b b uh, burak baruch. like that of bach and vivaldi has been shown to improve focus does it b bar bar barak how do you pronounce that bar baruch music where is that from catholic tradition 
like I highly recommend classical music or uh, as Catholic traditionalist traditionalist says Baruchi, Baruchi music okay so we're gonna expand this so this is the limit as h approaches zero of 2x plus 2h plus 1 minus 2x plus 1 all over h and then you simplify i listen to wagner music of national socialist alcohol lures does not <laughs> no we got a troll coming in what's this let me kill the troll take it before the accident I don't, I'm not gonna ban you yet I'll let the mods take care of you okay so we're just gonna simplify this right now watch this limit as h approaches 0 so 2x minus 2x they kill each other right 1 minus 1 they kill each other so we got limit as h approaches 0 of 2h over h well that's limit as h approaches 0 h kills h 2 limit of 2 as h approaches 0 is 2 so the derivative of this y prime is 2 well is that true that was 1 our rule was take this bring it multiply by this 2 times 1 is 2 and this becomes x to the power of 0 is just 1 and that's 0 hey that's correct we just use the fundamental theorem of calculus to figure out the derivative let's do a more complicated one okay Barak music is a period or style of western art music composed f uh, from approximately 1600 to 1750 yeah wow yep explains how to make a derivative the long way how to make the derivative long way let's make it a little bit more complicated let's use a quadratic right but a simplified quadratic let's say we have 2x uh, squared plus 5 okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that guy right so we're gonna go plug in X let's just call this X plus H we're not gonna call it X zero so wherever you see X put in X plus H so 2 X plus H squared plus 5 minus because we have a minus I'm gonna put this thing in brackets 2 X squared plus 5 all over H okay thanks for simplifying it for me and uh, not banning me very bored during this time don't be bored I and be nice really or we have an amazing community here it's all about empowering like just giving people the tool that they need to relax chill enjoy cook eat exercise and learn mathematics which is ridiculously powerful okay nothing like doing math to fight off the Valkyries <laughs> really are Catholic traditionalists yeah I like I like limit as h approaches 0 of 2 we're gonna foil this out I'm gonna foil this out on the side so you guys see what it is so x plus h squared right so x plus h times x plus h right so you get x squared plus xh plus xh which is 2xh plus h squared right so this becomes x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 5 minus 2x squared minus 5 all divided by h okay multiply the 2 in limit as h approaches 0 of 2x squared plus 4xh plus h squared plus 5 minus 2x squared minus 5 all over h right now we simplify okay 2x squared kills 2x squared positive 5 kills negative 5 we're stuck with this right so now we got limit as h approaches 0 of 4xh plus h squared all over h okay now factor out an h so this is limit as h approaches 0 of h 4x plus 
h over h. h kills h. So this equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 4x plus h. Right? Well, as h approaches 0, h just becomes 0. So the derivative of this is just going to be 4x. So y prime is 4x. Is that true? Let's check it out. According to our simplified version is, you take the 2, bring it down, right? So y prime is equal to 4, and this becomes, you kick this power down 1, so it becomes x to the power of 1. Derivative of a constant is 0, so it's 4x. 4x. Woohoo! Right? Awesome, awesome. Okay. And that is calculus. We got the visual of what it is we're actually trying to calculate, which was finding... We're coming up with an equation that gives us a slope at every point for the original function, right? Wow, cool. Hey, when is this thing equal to zero? When do we have an inflection point when H y prime is zero, right? I turned 47 in September, assuming it's not Resident Evil World. <laughs> yeah, I like the shortcut. I like the shortcut as well. You don't have to do this. You just have to learn the shortcut. Right, and all the different types of functions have shortcuts with them. Okay, fun, fun. This is the first time we're doing a full blown calculus math thing. Uh, all it took was a little bit of incentive from someone requesting us to do calculus, uh, for me to look at this thing, Speedy Gonzalez style today, to uh, just to refresh it to do this. I hope that was clear of what it is that we're doing. It gets more complicated with word problems and integrals. Yeah, integrals is the reverse of taking the derivative of it. You're going in the other direction. You're finding the original function if you want to think about it that way, right? That was a good exp uh, explanation. Okay, thanks, Don. I, I don't think I skipped over anything important. I think it uh, uh, it should give people a pretty good idea of what calculus is and what to do with it. Okay. Uh, and it's good I've had a lot of people ask me for calculus so um, uh, it's about time we did one you're setting a precedent you might have to do uh, some more calculus I know I know Catholic traditionalists I've been waiting for the summer to come along where I have more free time to start reading this again and relearning it to be able to teach it again right um, it's just right now I don't have the time that's required to put in to teach it properly right but I think we did a pretty good job thanks to you guys by the way for giving me the terms and the terminology and correcting me right uh, but I think we will have to at some point it's important I've had a I've had a lot of people ask me for it like crazy number right but right now I've sort of gone in the other direction uh, here's zoom play 3 a.m. <laughs> you're in you're in UK uh, I, I've gone in the other direction right now I have a lot of students that are in the early stages of learning mathematics and I'm really enjoying teaching that starting with addition and counting and taking them all the way into division and dealing with fractions and solving equations it's really fun really fun after all this math I need a beer but it's 2 20 a.m. 2 12 a.m. here Martin you own the place you can you can hit that thing anytime you want but don't do it Chicho I have time to spare want some oh brother I, I'm actually craving right now too and I don't want to hit it all right I learned calculus in a summer course four weeks for four days for four hours a day best way to learn it dive right in always be making I agree with you dive right in you just have to make sure you have the time required to really let your mind just flow with it because with calculus you really have to sort of just let it sink in and just go wow just watch it in awe right and learn it in awe dice power I had an integral question if anyone knows the answer what is the uh, indefinite integral of f of x uh, f of x y of x dx that is the integrand is a function of x and another function of x beyond me dice power someone might be able to help dice power by the way our discord there are people offering their help uh, for mathematics so 
you could post it in our math folder. It's on the heavy topics. Should be maybe in the light down but the heavy topics for sure. Uh, we have a Discord page. So if you post it in that folder, maybe someone will be kind enough to help you out. Yeah, used to study it three to four hours a day to be able to get it, get used to it. Yeah, me too. Me too. You, you have to. And many things worthwhile learning require the energy to be put in uh, to learn it. Hello, boss man, Xeroxa. I have just uh, stumbled upon the stream and I would like to thank you for providing free tutoring, even though I haven't uh, um, thought about math for years. Bless you, yeah, Jesus, thanks. And thanks for popping in, for sure. And this is, by the way, uh, I know people are appreciating this or finding, but it's also for self-preservation, for selfish reasons, because it is my belief if the whole world was literate in the language of mathematics, we would be in a much better situation than we are right now. All of us would be, right? So I do this to improve my life because I think if society, if we're all literate in the language of mathematics, everybody's life would improve you wouldn't have shenanigans by corporations and politicians and special interest groups pulling the wool over our eyes curtain over our eyes and fooling society into supporting their genocidal like insanity right you when you learn mathematics you can see bs coming a mile away a mile away right you can you can just say oh yeah bs 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 oh that's good come on on right that's true there have been people put in jail because the juries had no understanding of conditional independence it's insane it's insane right trying to convince people that logic is greatly missing in our society and the reason for that is because most people many people are illiterate in the language of mathematics is very difficult true boss man i can tell tell you why in that respect it's the goatee eh? <laughs> and eating homemade cookies with homemade applesauce and mandarins eat well eat well Mm -hmm. they're they're whole wheat check this out whole wheat okay whole wheat coconut flour honey chocolate chip cookies with walnuts that i made like four days ago with homemade applesauce that i made like a month ago and an organic mandarin. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> By the way, I've got to try that. I have the recipe online. We've done two live streams where we made these honey chocolate chip cookies okay if you do chicho honey chocolate chip cookies or cookies there should be two videos where i show how to make this this is sort of a modified version i put coconut flour in it and stuff but it's the same recipe chicho i'm downstairs i have a pint glass in my hand i'm looking at the cider pump oh my god <laughs> are you solo martin <coughs> Are you solo? Is it on your YouTube? Yeah, it's on my YouTube. Chicho chocolate chip cookies. Let me see if I can find it. Speedy Gonzalez for you. Let me see if I can find it. Speedy Gonzalez. Chicho cookies. Chicho cookies. There's two of them. Uh, maple syrup. <laughs> this is the original one. Uh, we made one that was a live stream as well this one is not the live stream but there's another one that's a live stream as well here's the original one we made and there's a little intro for it too 
Here, I'll give you the intro. The intro is like eight minutes. It gives you the recipe and you can see the setup. Okay, oops. Oh, let me make sure it doesn't start. Okay. Man, Mike Martin, put that glass down. Oh, you found it. Okay, awesome. And there's that one, and then that links up to the original one we did, and then we did another one. I think we've done a live stream of it. Is that Calc? I guess so. I guess it would be considered Calc 1. Yeah. Introduction to Calculus. Okay. By the way, it's interesting to see that the math where you are and the math where I am in France are the same. Yeah, math is the same everywhere. International, right? That's the beauty of it. We can communicate to everyone around the world, irrelevant of their natural language, through mathematics. It's brilliant. May I post a poll for a class about automated vehicles? It's four short questions. You know what? We're about to end the, the stream, brother, or sister, of course. You can go to our Discord and post a question there. And you're welcome to pop in and post the questions uh, in, uh, in future math streams that we do. Oh, Martin, you already hit it up. <laughs> Okay, cool. Thanks. That's awesome. Awesome. There's a certain university uh, to the language of yeah, universal universality to the language of mathematics. That's one nice thing about math. Don't have to relearn math in another language. No, you don't. Mathematics is as beautiful as a language as Italian or French. Yeah. So we're almost at the end of the stream, gang. Or we are at the end of the stream. Just to let you know, this is our Patreon page. Okay. If you want to support this project, Patreon is an amazing way to support this project. Okay. And you don't have to support to follow. You can just follow and you'll get updates of what we're posting and stuff like this. Okay. And I do post all the videos there. I announce all the live stream sets there and share some other information there as well. Okay. We are live streaming this on Twitch. So if you want to watch these things live, I know you guys watching on Twitch right now live. You're going, why is he saying that? Because we're going to upload this to BitChute and YouTube and other platforms possibly in the future. Okay. But we're only live streaming on Twitch right now. I'm subscribing with Twitch Prime or Tier 1 and stuff is also a great way to support this project if you have the means to do it. Oh, you too as well. Thank you for the love, people. Thank you for the love. I announce these things on Twitter, Gap, Minds, vk and elo right those are the sort of announcement platforms that i'm on okay so you can follow the work there we do upload these videos to youtube with bitshoot everything on bitshoot almost everything to youtube right now everything to youtube because uh we're in a pandemic so the sensors maybe they're in hardcore more maybe they're not uh we're finding our way through the cracks okay and we just recently got approved for youtube membership so youtube membership is again a nice way to support this project as well okay 4 30 a.m uk time i will be there let's talk greed oh the economics one that's right that's right okay and we are during interesting times during the pandemic lockdown and flatten the curve is a good thing to do okay uh, make sure you don't stress out your healthcare systems wherever you are right because this line that you see there is the capacity of your healthcare system to be able to take on patients you want to make sure you're below the line because once you go above the line if hospitals your healthcare providers are overwhelmed what's going to happen is everybody's not going to get good care so there's going to be people sacrificed and healthcare workers right now and the cleaning people right now and all the people who are considered to be critical work uh people that are working right now are putting their lives on the line to protect everyone else make sure you respect that work okay don't put them at risk just listen to the general consensus right now that is the best thing to do to keep a little bit of physical distance it's not social distance because what we're doing here is social very social right it's just a little bit of physical distance there's a storm outside bunker down chill until the storm passes and then you can do everything else you want to do 
Okay. Thanks for being here, gang. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the conversations. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Catholic tra um, traditionalist. Thank you, everyone, really. Okay. Chichonians is rust. <laughs> your your land is in latin your land is latin is it rus rus okay and tomorrow we're doing um economics i believe and then we're doing education and then we're doing uh next three days we've got streams lined up 8 30 p.m and 8 30 p.m next couple of days um i, I love it. uh spider-man awesome awesome i think we're doing economics personal finance investing tomorrow I think we're doing education uh, the next day today is Wednesday so Friday and on Saturday we're doing uh, mental health in the afternoon I believe or in the morning in the morning I think from 10 to 12 or something my time okay take care everyone I hope you have a fantastic evening and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow awesome peace everyone